morning, guys. Good morning. We are. What I don't like about e logs, they don't tell you, always tell you a town where you're at. Uh, but we're somewhere between El Dorado and Wichita at the service plaza. <laughs> uh, parked in the back 40 last night, so we just made up our own little dinner. Uh, a banquet mega, mega dinner bowl or something, I don't know. Uh, chicken, country chicken or something, country fried chicken, I, I don't know. Decent. <laughs> uh, we are getting ready to head out of the service plaza, go down to the job site, to unload, and then we are gonna head over and pick up some rock. You know, the normal deal. You know, I get up, my routine is to get, you know, start getting dressed and put my shirt on. I reach over and grab my deodorant, try to put some of that degree on. I've used degree for years. Uh, honestly, the best deodorant on the market that I've that I've found personally. Uh, but the problem is, they used to have a darker green stick or container or whatever you want to call it. it went, but they switched over to this lighter green, and ever since they've switched over to the light green. It seems like the stick itself doesn't last as long and whenever you get like you got like that much left you're not on the plastic yet but you're like right there everything just falls apart green conspiracy here I know Miss Piggy wouldn't be happy with it but uh, that sucks Get up in the morning, start putting your deodorant on, and next thing you know, you're jabbing yourself in the armpit because the deodorant stick comes apart on you. And you know, now I need you know 35 stitches in my armpit because the deodorant stick comes apart on me. Oh well. Degree. If any of your executives are watching this, figure out the issue. That's ridiculous. He said to pull over on the shoulder and park under the bridge. Yeah. Well, dead gum I missed. Well, we did what he said we're where we're supposed to be. That's an active job site road uh, repair deal. I don't exactly know. <laughs> but they uh they gotta clear equipment out of the way so I can get onto the uh job site itself so he said he'll call me back said, so we'll sit here and wait till he call me back and we'll go get unloaded all right we're gonna try to get in onto this job site now uh, a neat looking old scout kind of sort of i don't want to say it's all really neat looking but different uh, Gotta hit the on ramp. They're kind of in the middle of the clover. You should consider that clover leaf. Good night. This road's rough over here. Ain't been down this way on hydraulic in a long time. Oh, oh. All right. There. See this off on the lift. Gotta take the ramp. Swing her wide. Pipe off with the crane. Uh, what 
beautiful little job side here. All sorts of fun toys. Well, we ain't been down this road in oh, been pretty good while since we come out here to load. Uh, usually get two big stones out here. And uh Try to get through that brush right there. But uh, we usually load two big stones out here, and truck on across. These guys usually ain't too bad. Uh, the old man that used to load us, I called him, let him know I was on my way, and he goes, "I ain't loading no more. But if I need you, I'll come load you." And I said, "Well, so I appreciate the offer. So you got somebody out here. That's all I need." It's hard to find guys like that show up to work just to work instead of sitting around and rotting away, you know what I mean? I always thought that was a really cool deal. It's crazy out here because you got all these little rocks through here. If you go on Google Maps, you can see there's like a line of these rocks. And they'll be up on hillsides like that, but there's just a steady line of them. Like somebody, you know, that's like perfectly placed on like a road or something. I don't know, maybe it's like one of the first highways in America. I don't know. It's crazy to see though, you know, you get on, you see it from a satellite view on Google Maps, you can just see like a perfect line of them. And then you look out and see where they're at. And just, they follow the hills. It's crazy. Well, we have made it out here. Got loaded, got our two big blocks on. You guys can see um, got four chains on the back three chains on the front that one's a little bit lighter Just gonna do a quick walk about here make sure tie it up there we go. I try to screw up any hooking a chain it's not hard to hook them and when you get over the other side you ain't them in. sometimes they'll kind of come undone and not be latched on you guys can see here the chain loops over the or the hook goes over the chain not the tip of the chain don't go into you know the little hole here so they got to go over right like that if they ain't like that i've never done it but i have seen guys do it i'll be all right they'll be all right they won't be all right until the old teammate gets you or for some reason, that chain pulls in. Okay. We're going to get on about a hill. Trying to make it St. Genevieve tonight. Get some dirt queen. I don't know. I think the old man's probably running. Going to run the same way. I don't know if he's going to chicken out on me or not. Sometimes he gets tired and stops early, but... One of the advantages of e or paper logs versus e-logs. He can stop when he wants to, take a nap, and get up and go when he wants to. <laughs> I mean, does it legally. Yeah. That's that's one of the hardest things with the e-log is. You know, you get tired and want to stop taking a few hour nap, you can't just stop taking a few hour nap, get up driving and go back to bed when you get where you're going. You gotta gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And that's what we gotta do. certain on the uh, accuracy of the scales on the loader. Um, he told me that the truck that they sent out yesterday, I think he said it was, uh, he ended up putting like 50,000 pounds on them, which uh, I think those their trucks can scale about like us, about 48,000, maybe just a little bit more because they don't carry as much equipment. But uh, they're saying that they scaled out, that old boy scaled out, or, you know, we're trying to figure the weight up. It was like a little over 50,000 pounds that they put on them. And uh, so, just out of curiosity, I went hit the cat scale on my way through Emporia. And, but you know it, the 80,000 pounds, pretty well on the money. It showed 
80,020, 80,020 pounds, which that could fluctuate either or, either way, so I wasn't worried about the extra 20, but we decided, well, we ain't going to stop getting no fuel on the way, I can tell you that, we're good on fuel, we'll make it, the guy in the Porsche is going to get pushed, nothing but a sports car version of the bug, Volkswagen bug. charging straight into St. Louis like at the heart of rush hour uh, same place where I left the old man yesterday and well he caught back up to me here today but take a few minutes I'm gonna clean my clean my windows off They're getting dirty I clean my windows so I can see maybe my, I might even clean my mirrors there you go alright we uh Made St. Genevieve, took a little short break over in Kingdom City. Uh, we gotta try to squeeze in between. Try to catch the rush hour, or very, very tail end of the rush hour in St. Louis. Worked out pretty decent. Caught all, all but one scale closed, and that green light of me. Uh, like I said, we're right at 80,000 pounds. 80,000 and 20 pounds. With cat skill right after we loaded so we definitely lost some weight then we made it to the first skill which was the only skill that was open and gave us the pre-pass the old man is over there pulled in we had dinner with Caden and this guy here he's got his seat belt wrapped around the uh, door handle to keep him it's like a backup security plan for truckers to wrap their door handle like that. It's a pretty high crime area right here. 
not really. But I'll probably sleep with the doors unlocked. I pulled in here and slept with the windows rolled down before. It's one place I ain't scared of. But uh, we're going to wrap her up. We got to go deliver in the morning. And we'll go reload up out of St. Louis. Get some galvanized or uh, zinc blocks. Galvanized blocks, I don't know. Either way, they gotta be strapped to tarp and all that fun stuff. Going to Chicago. We'll swing through our favorite truck lube shop. Guy's wearing a dress and pants and dress shoes. What is this world coming to? There ain't no way, no way you come from my lines. <laughs> oh man, the world screwed up. We're going to get ready for bed. So we start a big day tomorrow. Yeah, we got to go to Joe's Truck Loop. I don't know if we're going to do it on the way up or on the way back. Get this thing serviced and greased. Maybe be the first time I've been through there in a while with this trailer. I get some grease in the trailer finally. There you go. Y'all stay safe out there. God bless you. Keep them fifth wheels greased up. Come in.